Oh my god. I'm at my mom's house, okay? If you want to follow me on Instagram, tonight is the night where I just watched The King's Speech. Super inspirational movie. Always love that movie. I always cry. It's the funniest thing. It's the saddest thing. It's the sweetest thing. It's so honest and real. And like, I just really admire how someone with something that can really like be debilitating, like something that just can keep you from doing so many things in life and can fight a, the most important war in history or at least one of them and <laughs> um anyway whatever so I'm all in a good mood you know and then my mom's like oh let's watch something in Spanish something else okay fine cool whatever she puts it on this one of those shows you know like um uh where they do those um those reality like uh what do you call it it's a it's a real story but they reenact it and it's usually about domestic violence somebody always gets killed my mom loves crime shows i hate crime shows i hate them i hate the real ones i hate the real stories things like snapped i cannot watch those for so many reasons like for so many reasons but the main reason is just that it makes me look like such an a-hole you know and i'm trying <laughs> i'm trying not to be I'm trying to watch my mouth here okay but it's just that um, <laughs> because I like to have a sense of humor about things, those kinds of things. And so I don't watch anything about real stories. I don't even watch the news anymore because my sense of humor can make me seem like such a a-hole. You know what I mean? Like um, I just I start making fun of it. I start reenacting stuff in my own little way and my mom just gets really irritated and offended and she starts getting mad at me. How can you say that somebody died? And I'm like, well, why are you watching this with me? I don't find it funny that people get killed or that they are abused. Let's just let's just say that okay I don't find those things really that funny when it's real but it's really hard for me the last thing that I watch on tv to be something about domestic violence where somebody dies I can't go to sleep to that that's not gonna settle with me very well you know so whatever <laughs> I don't know it's like I told my mom that and she says, and she says, well, <laughs> this is her explanation. Um, you know, there are murders out there on the street. Don't you want to know who they are? And I'm like, but they're reenacting it. I don't know who those real people are. In the Spanish version, they don't show the real people. It's just the reenactment. So I'm like, I'm never know, gonna know who that guy is. He's probably in prison now, right? So why would I be worried about that? And she's like, she's like, just so that you know, I go, I'm not gonna walk around like suspecting that there's murders everywhere, living my life like, oh my god, he wore a white t-shirt. He must be a drug dealer. And by the way. I just want to say that based on this one TV show, there's got to be a learned lesson. And the lesson is this. The guy starts getting mad at his wife because the first thing that she did to piss him off was tell him that that she knows she's he's a drug trafficker and he gets pissed off. I'm not a drug trafficker. I'm a drug dealer. Like, what's the difference? I'll tell you what the difference is, okay? The drug trafficker is never the guy. It's always the drug dealer because they're doing the dirty work. And that's pretty damn stressful, especially when you go home to something even more stressful like wife and babies. 
So I'm just saying, lesson learned. <laughs> Trafficker never gets caught. The dealer is always the guy, okay? But besides that, I just don't want to walk around, you know, like, oh, that guy is, you know, <laughs> wearing cufflinks on his on his loafers and he drives a Corolla. He must be, you know, oh, no. I mean, maybe he's just the general manager at McDonald's. Really? I mean, think about it. Don't watch these scenes. It gets so built up on it. It's not that big of a deal. Not every guy is gonna murder you. Not every guy on drugs is gonna kill you. But, I mean, especially now everybody's on drugs. I'm not, by the way, clean as a whistle. I just want to say how proud I am to be vegan, drug-free, alcohol-free, and psh, I'm sorry, I'm so full of myself right now. Never mind. Anyway, that's my story for the night. Just uh, keep a smile on your face. Watch something happy. Something with princesses and flowers and rabbits running around the rainbow. Oh, that reminds me of another thing. I'm scrolling down my Instagram. And there's a picture LGBT something or other. And I'm like, Mom, what does this say? It's in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. Not one of the things I'm proud of, but I don't speak Spanish. And I asked her, like, what does this say? And she goes, oh, I don't know. She's just scrolling through it, not really looking. It says something about LGBT. Yeah, no kidding. But what is it saying? Oh, a lot of the stuff, it all says the same thing. It's just propaganda. And I'm like, propaganda about what? So <laughs> it's really hard to get these things out of her for her to say it. She doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> she's not anti it's just hard for her so I'm like okay fine whatever you don't want to talk about this we'll just watch this this reenactment instead yeah that's better but I'm like I'm like please tell me what this says I want to know what's going on in the world I think that's what gave her the idea that I should be watching this tv show instead it's not really the same thing Okay, not really. Instagram and crime who done it is totally different. Don't compare the two. But follow me on Instagram. There's a lot of interesting things in there. Sometimes I watch movies and play guessing games. You can follow me on Facebook, but I'm really rarely on there and just like and subscribe if you like me and you want to see me again in this really bad lighting and this really bright light I look like an angel so you can't really I'm not complaining I'm not I have some more videos about dancing coming up not that I'm a real expert um they're up and coming up and coming what's coming up in the future just to take this to 10 minutes you can turn this off but um I have some videos that I made before my amateur adventure <laughs> that's what I like to call it at the world salsa summit about what I was doing and you can comment all day long about everything I did wrong or right and tell me your thoughts on why I totally failed. But I did some videos on what I was doing to practice, where I was practicing, what I wear for practice. Um, I was, I was, I am a literal dancer. I dance six days a week, but I'm nowhere near the professionals that teach me that dance in suits and dresses eight to 10 hours a day. I do not compare myself, but I would really love to be like them. So I have asked, 
to be a dance teacher and applied and I got good responses, but there's no availabilities. There's no um, openings right now. Um, but look to the future. They said, look to the future and I'm still making progress in my um, dancing syllabus. So yeah, thank you for watching. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you like my sense of humor. I hope you like my funny videos. I never tell the joke better the second time on the video than I did the first time in real life when I actually said it. So sometimes I'm not sure if it comes across the same way. But really and literally, I know how much of a nail I am. <laughs> I just think that it's funny. Okay, bye.